As I was preparing the message in the early hours, I was just seeking the Lord to say, Lord, give me a word that will stretch somebody. Give me a word that will move somebody from the comfort zone. What we need in this generation is to take action. Hallelujah. And this was very strong. Pastor has been here for one year and some months. Those that have been here, remember I first came first August. Hallelujah. And one day, Pastor called me. You know, I stay in Pretoria. Hallelujah. Pretoria for Jesus. Amen. And uh, he wanted transport to go into Jopin, Central Jopin. And my heart was bleeding because I couldn't help. I had some commitments. And I know Pastor has on his heart, he wants to visit you. Sometimes he can't. And we might see as if, you know, maybe he doesn't just want to visit. But there is an issue there. He doesn't have transport. And I want us to do something for him. Hallelujah. As a seed for our generation. Hallelujah. Call it a generational seed. I want us to raise money and buy him a car. How many say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to scripture. Just take a seat for a moment. Romans chapter 10. And let's just read verse 14 and 15. Romans chapter 10. Are you there? Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, How then can they call on the one that they have not believed in? How can they believe in the one whom they have not seen? How can they hear without someone preaching to them? 15. And how can they preach unless they are sent? So who is supposed to send preachers? Hallelujah. You hear the word because there is a man of God. Hallelujah. But he cannot effectively bring the word. Sometimes you are sick. You need to be laid hands on. And there is a transport constraint. I think God is not happy with us. Hallelujah. Maybe it's a situation you just need the pastor to come and anoint your house because you've been having nightmares. But he can't because he has no transport. We live in different areas. Hallelujah. So this morning, I want us to honor the man of God. Let's bless him with a car. Hallelujah. Amen. I myself am going to be the first one to pledge. Hallelujah. Amen. So, if we are to buy pasta and car, we're looking at something like a hundred thousand rands. Hallelujah. Hundred thousand. We can buy a nice car. I usually go to auctions. There's a place where they sell bank repossessed cars. We can start with the first, second hand car. But next time we should upgrade, amen, and just buy a new one. Hallelujah. So, I want you to go and pray about this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And read that scripture, Romans 10, 14 to 15. Most of the times, we neglect men of God. Hallelujah. But he is a man. He brings spiritual food. He prays for you. He actually is putting a covering over you day in and day out. We need to honor you. Hallelujah. So I'll need those that will say, Pastor, I can give 10,000 rands. Then it will only mean that we only need 10 people to give 10,000 rands. Hallelujah. Then if you have someone who say, Okay, I'll give 5,000 rands, it means we only need 20 people to give 5,000 rands. Then if you say, I can give 3,000 rands, hallelujah, then it means we just need three times, how many? 34. 34 people to give 3,000 rands, we can do it, hallelujah. Call that.
that one a seed for my generation. Say a seed for my generation. Maybe you will manage 2,000 friends. It means we need how many? 50 people to give. And we are more than 50 here. If it's 1,000 friends, we need how many? 100 people. 500, we need 200 people. We can do it. Even 100 friends. As the Lord will lead you, we are going to do it. We want, I'll, uh, I'll say, let's start from September, October, November, three months. So if you pledge 10,000 rands, you can pay it in three installments. If you pledge 5,000, you can pay it in three installments. Deacon John will handle that account. Hallelujah. So in an envelope, when you're giving for pastor's car, indicates pastor's car, okay? We won't tell him. And it's not something that maybe you might think it's a conspiracy to say, Pastor spoke to me. He never did. The Lord spoke to me. Hallelujah. And I'll be the first one. Hallelujah. To give. Hallelujah. This coming month, I'll give towards Pastor's car because I want a generation of bliss. Hallelujah. Let's not, you know, see our man of God struggle. Hallelujah. We should be proud of our man of God. He has never asked for it. Hallelujah. Amen. Other pastors, you go to other churches, you see, they will tell you, I want a new car. Hallelujah. But if a man is not able to ask, it doesn't mean he doesn't have that in his heart. Obviously, he has it. Amen. But let's honor the man of God. When you honor a prophet of God, your reward is there. Your, your, your prophet's reward will be there. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are going to see a lot of breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Amen? Because this might be something that is hindering our breakthrough. Amen? Maybe you are even saying, ah, this man has been preaching from August, nothing is happening to me. Some will even leave thinking it's the man of God when it's you. You're not doing your part to also honor your man of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So may the Lord speak to your heart. It's not a forcing matter. This is a generation of blessing. We are doing it for our kids. Because this is a month where we've been dealing with this area of generations. The thing is, if we don't take action, we'll become lukewarm Christians. Just adding the number to people who shout. Hallelujah. So, if you feel that I want to be part of this project, I want the ashes to bring some envelopes, and give out to those that are saying I'll be part of this project. We're not forcing anyone. The Lord will speak to you. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. And I can assure you, when there is transport, you will see him come and, come and you know pray for you, come and dine with you, visit you. And sometimes, you know, we, we find that other people are in hospital. Amen. Amen. And you can't keep on calling uh, maybe Brother Seremwe there or Brother Chansa. We really thank God he's really been taking care of Pastor. Amen. Just give him a hand. God will reward you. God will reward you. But you can also do something. Amen. You might not just drive him, but God will put a name to that car that will buy for Pastor. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Don't hate me. Love God. Amen. And you will love me more. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Let's take care of men of God. Even Bishop, let's surprise him one day with something. It's been such a blessing. We don't need to be told that Bishop is coming. Let's just think on our own and say, mm, let's buy him maybe a suit. Hallelujah. Or a tie. An expensive one or a perfume we sent to Sunday. He will release a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When you give from your heart, it's not painful. Amen. But I'm saying this is a generational seed 
that we are going to sow. We are calling it a generation of what? Seed. Seed. For the man of God. I thank you. Let's stand again as we close. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Thank you that, oh God, the word that has been spoken has gone on fertile soil, not on rocky ground. Lord, I pray that may your word germinate. May this seed germinate. Even those that will give, Lord, I pray for a thousand blessings for their lives. I pray for a hundredfold anointing. I pray for doors to open. I pray for sicknesses to be healed. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Lord, as I release your people to go into the world this week, I pray for a special anointing upon them. I pray against sickness in the name of Jesus. I pray against death in the name of Jesus. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.